In this video, we're going to talk about the Venture Storm. This is a board that's designed for going out and slashing pow above tree line, getting into the trees, ripping through there, then cutting across to groomer to get back on the chairlift. It's a little bit of a versatile powder board. It's definitely that resort powder board that you can take out into the slack country or the back country, which if you're going in the back country, get educated. The big thing with the Storm that you need to know is it's basically like the big brother to the Euphoria where that one's more of a volume shift snow surfer. This one is for laying bigger lines. And as such, it's bigger. That's it. It's just, it's a good board. This is a board that you can just go out and rip hard with. It's got that venture construction that you know and it's just solid. It's a beefier board. This board features Venture's straight line rocker, which is a flat into rocker. So outside the so outside the insert packs, there's a mellow rocker in the tip and the tail, which gives this board stability underfoot, better float and pow, and easier turn initiation. The Storm has a noticeably softer nose. I mean, really noticeably compared to the overall flex of the board, which is just a little bit past middle of the road. Right between the nose and the first insert pack, it progressively starts to stiffen up towards the tail. It's a directional flex. There's a moderate amount of torsional flex to this board, but not enough that you overwhelm it or that it feels plank-like. This board is very stable underfoot. The only spot that you really notice any chatter or the board getting bucked around is in that nose, and that's because it is a softer flex. All the snap and response from this board when popping comes from the tail, 100% from the tail. It's like a spring. You're going to notice that it wants to just boing. It just wants to pop from there. It's solid, but not overwhelming. It's great for getting the job done. While the nose shape on this board is great for cutting through fresh pow, it's less than ideal for buttering. You'll notice that it hooks and catches and spins you around. While doable, still not the best. So find some steep and deep pow and go to town. This is one of those boards when you're doing deep, hard, aggressive carves, you're going to notice how the front and nose of this board just lifts up. You're gonna do all the driving of this board from the middle back. It just keeps that front end elevated. This is a board that, while nimble and quick, you really steer from the back foot. This is a board for the pow chaser, the guy that's ripping deep shit and occasionally needs a board to rip a groomer when they're getting back to the chairlift. This is a board that, you know, it's for someone that's going to have a quiver or someone that only goes out on deep days. Okay, so we've gone over what the Storm can do. Now here's some other boards to possibly look at if you're considering this deck. The One from Rosinal. The Jones Aviator. The Yes, Pick Your Line. The Smokin' KT-22. The Ride Berserker. The Solomon Super 8. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification, and I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? This is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there, and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews for you guys that enjoy what we're doing.